What if you need this to become this? I'm going to tell you exactly how you can split data from one cell into multiple cells and you will see in this video why that's a very powerful feature in the Excel sheet. As an example, let's say in this Excel sheet, the employee number column may look like a bunch of random numbers, but the 100 in the first employee number denotes a department. So all of the employees in the customer support department have employee numbers starting with 100. Let's say the 01 and the 02 that you see in between right here may denote the designation. So all 01 employees are managers, all 02 employees are assistant managers and all 03 employees are executives. Now, let's say you need to do a VLOOKUP just like how I showed you in my VLOOKUP video with another sheet that contains the employee numbers but without the department and designation code. So they only have 982734 and so on for the entire employee number column. How exactly are you going to split this data and do the VLOOKUP function? Are you going to have to go individually, remove all of the first few digits and click on enter or is there an easier way to do this? We are going to use the text to column feature to help us achieve this goal. So the first thing you want to do is create a column right after the column where you want to split your data. Now we have a blank column where these data can be split and moved to. The second thing you have to do is select the data that you want to split. Then go into the data section on your ribbon, go into text to columns. Once you're here, you're greeted with two options, delimited and fixed width. In just a second, I'll show you another example where I'll explain how the delimited feature works. For this example, we're going to use with fixed width and fixed width works best when you have a set of data that is exactly the same width. The alignment has to be exactly the same. Once you're ready, click on next and click on the area right before the data where you want to split. Once you have this line with the small arrow on top, you're good to go. Click on next and click on finish. As you can see, this data is been split from this data. Now you can go use your second sheet where you have only the employee number part and do whatever you need to do with that data. Now the reason this worked with the fixed width, as I said, is because all of this is aligned. As you can see, all of the hundreds and two hundreds and three hundreds are aligned. All of the hyphens are aligned. All of the department codes, the designation codes are all aligned and it starts and ends with the exact same number of characters. Now, just to show you how it wouldn't work if the data wasn't aligned, let's say you want to split the department column and we are going to insert a column right here. Click text to columns, fixed width, next, and we're going to hit customer and click on next, finish. And as you can see, it split operations into two separate columns. This is why this wouldn't work if all of the data is not aligned. Now let's get into the second example where I'll show you how delimited works. Please leave a like down below if you found this video helpful and leave a comment if you have any doubts. Now I've created a sample set of data where as I'm sure many of you have seen, if you generate a bank statement, it will give you a format called CSV and all of the data is split by a comma and this will work with any other character as well, but this is just an example. So as you can see here, the first item is the date section, this is the description. We now have credit, debit and the balance amount here. Now obviously this is not an ideal format and we want to split all of this into their own individual respective cells. So all you have to do is select the data again, go into text to columns, click on delimited, hit next and now what you want to do is click on comma. So as you can see, you can either go with a semicolon, you can go with a tab, you can go with a space even. In this case, all of the data is split with a comma. So we're going to click on comma and we're going to click on next and finish. Now you can see that each column has the date, each column has the description, each column has the credit, the debit and the balance. Now all of a sudden it becomes very easy for you to format and use the data exactly how you need to use it. Anything you need to do with this data can now be done with ease. Now let's try the text to columns with a space. Let's say like and sub below and thanks for watching. And we need to now split all of this data into multiple columns. Again, go into data, text to columns, delimited, next. And this time we're going to hit space. 
and then finish. As you can see now, like is on one, and is on another, sub is on another column, below, and so on. So you can use this feature any way you like. And if you need to split some data, that doesn't have an option here. If it's not a tab, if it's not a semicolon, and so on, you can just hit on other, and you can put any character that is in between your data. So you can hit a plus, or a minus, or an open bracket, close bracket, it doesn't really matter, and it will work and it will split the data for you. Watch this video if you want to learn how to do VLOOKUP in just about five minutes or watch this video. Please leave a like down below if you found this video helpful and leave a comment if you have any doubts. My name is Kenneth, you're watching Boss Your Office. I'll see you in the next one.